well, 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 looky here. The guy whose four-year-old Stanley Parable rant got injected into the game itself, back from the dead with another commentary. Yep, I thought it was time I de-rusted my video-making career with the genre that got me pseudo-popular in the first place. As for how long my resurrection will last, well, that's still up in the air. In any case, as I'm sure you can no doubt tell, I fancy myself quite the gamer. And as a gamer, I obviously need to get my games from somewhere, be it touching grass or a car pedal to reach in-store vendors, or ordering them from online. Earlier this year, I had come across one such vendor going by the name DK Oldies, who have something of a presence making YouTube shorts and TikTok videos. I made a few orders off the site, and despite digging a bigger hole in my wallet than I would have liked to, I found myself satisfied with what I got from them. However, not everyone seems to hold the satisfaction that I did, which brings me to one DK Newies. Subtle name, by the way. This guy has made quite a presence for his distaste for the site, with several videos dedicated to flinging dung on the people at DK Oldies. I'll be covering a five minute rant he made back on May 11th complaining about the prices DK Oldies sets. Without further ado, it's time to wise for my grave! Of this. Okay, so two eighty nine ninety nine for a Wii with Wii Sports and Wii Sports Resort. Nah, that's like a one hundred and like maybe twenty dollar bundle right there. An NES Mario one two and three pack two forty nine ninety nine two fifty. Really, dude, you can probably get this for like maybe one thirty to one forty five. At least 150 at most. This can't hold weight on its own. You claim that the Wii and NES console slash game bundles can be bought for cheaper elsewhere, yet don't bother to link any sources to support your argument. Your viewers shouldn't have to do the legwork for you to understand your complaint. They're not omnipresent beings who can magically learn anything in existence with just a snap of a finger. A normal Wii with like... Just a normal like 150... Like, what? Well, uh, sorry, I was looking at the message above here. <laughs> Yeah, that right there is the perfect summary of this video in microcosm. Anyways, you are aware your iPhone has a do not disturb feature to disable notifications in times like these. I mean, seriously, even with your already lazy setup of screen recording off of your Safari browser without any editing, the least you could do is keep yourself from getting interrupted by that spite-filled Discord group you run. But yeah, 150 for a freaking Wii pack with nothing, just the console, cords, and controller. A GameCube, uh, just silver, console only, or not console only, but um, it looks like it comes with a third-party controller too, 219. You sure about that? That controller doesn't look third-party to me. If you're planning on throwing the dishonest marketing card by claiming they don't have original controllers, then clearly you don't pay as much attention to DK oldies as your brand would imply. One look at their videos would tell you their stock is chock full of official controllers for a variety of consoles. Though frankly, even disregarding that potential counter-argument, I have to ask what the issue of providing a third-party controller is. A controller being unofficial doesn't automatically make it broken. In some cases, they could provide means of playing that official controllers couldn't, such as Turbofire or wireless adapters. Especially in the case of older consoles where first-party controllers for the system likely aren't being developed anymore, homemade controllers can help preserve the console's history if against all odds DK Oldies and other vendors run entirely out of stock. With that in mind, if you don't give me a reason as to why third-party controllers are an issue, I'll have to dismiss that as a you problem at best. Two, really, two thirty-four ninety-nine for an N sixty-four, two third-party controllers in Mario sixty-four. I actually just got my N sixty-four a few weeks ago with Mario sixty-four and a load of other games for like maybe actually the same price as this, like two fifty. Actually, I got like six games, a Nintendo sixty-four, and three controllers for like maybe two hundred to three hundred bucks, and that was actually a pretty good deal. Well, not a pretty good deal, but that's the average deal of like what you would possibly buy. And all of them were actually really good games, not just cheap games. Implying that just anybody can get the bundle you bought for the same price. Implying that every potential buyer would enjoy the five or six mystery games you bought in your bundle. Even if we're taking into account the fact you got more games for what's potentially an even more expensive price than the DK Oldies bundle you're talking about, two to three hundred dollars is still asking a tall order for any would-be buyers of the bundle. For a lot of people on budgets, it would be less of a hassle to just buy a few games individually for systems they already own over getting an entire new console with a handful or so games, 
especially in the case of DK Oldies, where the threshold for free shipping is a measly 10 bucks. Yeah, I'm just gonna let you go. Oh, I don't want to get 10% off. I'm not ever shopping from this damn website. I never will, and I never have before. But just look at these prices, man. These are just terrible. Well, there goes even more of your credibility straight out the window. So, from what I'm gathering from this statement here, you don't even have first-hand experience with ordering from DK Oldies? In that case, how do you know for certain that their practices really are as unreliable as you claim? Especially considering what you're about to say near the end of the video, this just lends credence to the fact that you're complaining just for the sake of complaining. Actually, while we're on the subject of your lack of credibility, I want to direct the audience's attention to your channel's about page. You show a negative review, which, going off what you said earlier about never buying from DK Oldies, I'm assuming is from a third party. Regardless of the circumstances of the review, one bad customer is not indicative of absolutely everybody who has done business with these guys, especially with the possibility that whoever wrote it made it up the story just to troll. So again, citation needed. Well, you guys get the point. DK Oldies is a scam site. Um, they overprice all their garbage, and um, from what I heard, most of the stuff that people actually receive don't really work or work properly, and they always give you third-party stuff, and they sometimes even forget to give you stuff in your bundles, from what I've seen and heard, at least. Um. And once again, we're not provided with any examples from you to go off of. What exactly came in broken? How were the customers treated if they had reached out to file complaints? I mean, yeah, there is that review in the About tab I brought up earlier, but someone just watching this video isn't inherently going to stumble across that. At least from what's shown on their front page, they have a four-month warranty if worst comes to shove and their product ends up not working. It's not like the people working there just throw out whatever comes in regardless of quality either. DK Goldies shows in several of their videos that they have a refurbishing team who processes the games and consoles that they receive and tests them to make sure they're all working as intended, which may actually play a part into why their prices are higher than some other vendors. I've seen this point brought up among digital artists strong for money, and I feel the same logic applies here too. You're not just spending money to get the game delivered to your front door, there's also quality control coming with the bill. Part of the reason the prices are higher than usual is because you're paying for DK Oldies time and effort to get whatever you bought in working condition, whereas buying from some random seller on eBay, while maybe cheaper, doesn't provide the same guarantee that you're not falling for a scam, intentional or not. In any case, that's where I'll end the video. Not much in the last few seconds, aside from a few more vulgar pot shots, so I don't see the need to continue further. Newies, what were you trying to accomplish with this slapdash of a video? With the potential exception of Halo fans' video on Doodle Tones, this might just be the laziest video I've covered on my channel so far. What, with you letting easily avoidable distractions seeping into your product, and not bothering to credit any references that could help build a better argument against DK Oldies? There's a reason academic papers tend to have a references page tacked onto the end of the document. You can't just pull facts out of thin air and expect people to buy into your claims. It's not just your lack of credibility that's an issue, though. The very nature of your channel just makes my eyes roll. I'm not saying you shouldn't be allowed to criticize DK Oldies. I'm sure they have their flaws. But when you dedicate your entire channel, your entire existence, primarily to bash another person or a group of people, then the most you can expect to be on your side is a petty hive mind conflating your immature ranting, which, given the existence of your Discord server, already seems to be the case. Take it from someone who's been in the sidelines of people like Kablam Bandicoot with Mr. Enter, TWIP with Game Freak, and just the Sylveon with Doodle Tones. This kind of attitude is doomed to get people against you. From what I've been seeing in your channel, you've also started delving into video game reviews, which, while it doesn't completely negate how immature your spite towards DK Oldies is, is at least a refreshing change of pace by comparison. Still, if your main reason for existing is to simply spite some random game vendor on the internet over something more productive, then I don't know about you, but maybe it's time you touch some grass for once.